Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to test this new graphics card here that I've plugged in. Um, down at the bottom there, it's an RTX uh, Tough Gaming Asus, and uh, I've got the old one here that's unplugged, that's an MSI RTX. Uh, they're both uh, RTX 4090s. Um, this one's water cooled on the top, but uh, that's what I had running before. I've just unplugged it so that I can test this one. And that's just gonna sit there up top and hopefully do nothing and hopefully not fall off or anything. Just gonna sit there. It's pretty sturdy. Yeah, plug this power in. Sometimes these electrical connectors, look at that. They're like four wires plugged into one tiny little thing. Um, I heard sometimes they overheat and they catch fire on these 4090s, so we'll see. All I gotta do is plug us in and start up. Hopefully, I should get a, a you know display on my monitor here, and we'll be good to go. All right, so there's a moment of truth. I got uh, everything plugged in. I'm gonna flip the switch. For some reason, when I flip this switch, there's a light on the GP. It turns on. That doesn't seem right, but okay. Well, we're gonna pair it up. Top should be doing nothing. Looks like it's working. This fan starts spinning at idle speeds, so that's normal. But as long as we got a display, we're cooking. Let's see what we got here. Got a display? Huh? This is a TV slash monitor. Well, the Samsung OLED TV that I'm using as a monitor. So it takes a while for the signal to come. There it is. Woo! Kind of, kind of like makes you wait. Yeah. So, all right, this play works. Maybe we got a game with it for a little bit just to see what's, you know, what's going on. Ah. Uh, it works. So now basically I can unplug it and, uh, you know, I'll start, uh, all right. So the new car, it seems to be warmed up now. Fans are spinning. Everything seems to be running all right. Yeah. Running Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. Looking good. Now we verified it works. Uh, card works, so we're gonna remove it and reinstall the old card, and then we're gonna take the uh, heat sink off of this one. So, and all those three fans remove all that junk and put a CPU water block on uh, the board it's gonna cover the, the GPU and the um, memory alright see this bad boy Sometimes there's an LED on the RAM slots, get a little bit weird. Trying to log into the Mystic Flight app. Or, not log in, but start it up. Alright, that should work fine. Loading this. Loading this bad boy. Let me fix my setup here. Typically, I just grab it right here and swing it in. Right. A little, and then it's 
switch uh, settings and memory pad slash well WASD kind of these sort of keys but they are transcribed down here with a few functions on the top this is my volume setting typically lower the volume raise the volume and hang my headphones over here I get a little cord so I can yeah there we go. Got a Mystic Light app back up and running, working like a charm. This thing works beautifully. I love this case too. The H Y T E, the height, the height case. Yeah. And look how much smaller that water cooled MSI RTX 4090 Supra looks as opposed to the 4090 asus tough you know with all the three fans and it's just too much i think it I think it's too goddamn on big it's like this case as you can see will fit it but barely and i don't know it's just a good case to like test out a 4090 if you need to before you put it in your water cooled system so that was kind of you know one of the purposes of building this machine all right now we've reached a point where we have basically gotten down to the cooler and the board and the cpu or the brains of it now we take off a couple of pieces here. We take off our back plate. And we take off our fans and drone. So now we just gotta take off the actual cooler. That's gonna be a trip because when you take off that little sticker or damage it in any way. What you have to do to remove this cooler, well, you void the warranty. You can't send it back. So that's why we made sure our card was good before we went and did anything crazy. I do want to make a note that this little screwdriver that they sent with the card that doubles as like a GPU support or like prop up kind of device it came in handy taking all those screws off for the fan shroud and the back plate because it's exactly the right size to fit the screw heads but then you get to this part those are different size so I'm gonna switch screwdrivers here so found the right screwdriver so I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of this thing yeah, trying to make sure you can see it. Just do them one at a time real slowly. One, two, three quarter turns. I've been doing this for a while. One, two, three quarter turn. One, two, three quarter turn. One, two, three quarter turn. Start a start pattern. One, Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You don't want to damage this thing. One, two, three. We can just sort of go in any pattern we want. One, two. There we go. Now this one should come out. One, two, three. Now this one should come out. One, two, three. Can you see? Can we zoom in there? See how it comes loose on here? One more to go. Now I'm gonna put the camera down because I gotta hold that thing. There we go. Now it's free. So we can. Take this big old metal monstrosity off here. Well, it wasn't graceful or pretty, 
but <laughs> it is detached. All right, so this is our water block for a GPU. Super chilled Corsair. Easy to open. Very nice packaging. Look at this. Okay, I got out of focus here. Hold on. I'm gonna take this from the back. Like this. Oh, oh, look at all that crazy magic going on there. Now, my question is. Does this setup match the card perfectly? Let's see. Here's our card. You need the light on? Yeah, you might need the light. All right, so here's our card. All right. Now, this is obviously gonna go on like this. So we need to look at it like, okay. There's, right, okay. Uh, I mean, it looks, looks like it, wait, the only thing that concerns me is this out here, is that supposed to hit that row, and then this hits what, these gray ones, this, uh, Well, you know, the screws are going to line up, but it seems like they have all of the same things. This, this, this couple that are kind of sloppy. Uh, this, uh, like, four and a quarter. We'll see. Alright, so the stock paste on this thing. It's a little, oh, I would say lacking it's just such a thin 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 layer but it does you know it is there I don't know if I should trust it I, uh, this one the piece that this came with like it seems like a lot more uh, on there like a lot of, you know very goopy that's the kind of paste that I usually use. Damn, my chip's covered in it, though. Fuck. It's going to take a lot of cleaning. Holy hell. All right, so now we've unplugged everything on the uh, PC we're about to install the card on, so um, I guess now it's time to roll this big thing out, um, and we'll get to uh, draining the system. So this is actually a fairly simple procedure. All I'm going to do is unscrew this side panel right here and flip off the cap and then I literally uh, you know I just you know, turn this panel upside down and the reservoir drains that's it All right this is the part I thought I might need two people for one person to hold the camera but at the risk of making a mask I'm gonna do this by myself I'm gonna go around like 
like this. And then this. Or just like that. And then from there, there's a brand new pump too. I don't want to fucking break my pump. The reservoir is not new. Same reservoir, but pump went out after about five years. So pop the new I mean, yeah, it's good to go. Here we go. Ooh, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Ooh, oh. oh, we got it. Oh, we got it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm just gonna let that happen all over my floor. Not on my floor. I meant not on my floor. I'm gonna let you guys watch this. Watch the magic happen. Oh, so now she's completely upside down here. Pretty much empty. I think I'm. Usually I leave it here for just like a few hours. We'll figure out what I'm gonna do. First, I'm gonna cut the seam. And now it's done. I think the most difficult part was just simply getting, uh, you know, squishing the side panel against the case to get it to go back on. Because, you know, those wires be pushing out in the middle of it. You don't know how it is. I'm trying to hard wires and stuff behind the, behind the back of the motherboard. Alright, so this is sort of how you have to operate this. While you're working on this PC, get this up here, and that just kind of sits on a chair underneath all this stuff. Uh, yeah, this is kind of nuts. Um, uh, the GB's out, so I don't think I got any wear on there because I was really careful. I lifted the GPU up off of this hose, which I have tilted up, and I can see the water puddled in there. Uh, what now? Alright, there we go. I got the old GPUs out. I think everything is good as long as I don't have any leak. When I plug it back in, I was pretty sure I didn't get any moisture inside the board. On the, inside the case or on the board. But I'll see. I got this. I uh, was sort of plugged up with the rag for now, but uh, next step is attach the uh, the water block onto the new card, but I think I'm going to do that and then just sort of wait a few days, make sure that any can if any droplet of moisture got into the, uh, down into the board there. The motherboard, you'll have time to evaporate, time to dry, and then, you know, in a few days we'll just put a, you know, we'll put everything back together. What the fuck? What? I'm right hand by the way. Maybe I should switch. Jesus. There we go. We're just gonna pop a little pop up pop up pop a little babble up right. Oh I don't know. That's probably good. Ooh, seems to have a little Mix of consistency. That's interesting. Yeah. And just took all the original thermal paste that came with the water block, took that off, and now, uh, you know, wiped it with the 
lint-free cloth with some 90% isopropyl alcohol. This thing should be ready to go right on there. So now we got power supply, which basically I just plugged in by itself. And I'm using an EVGA, you know, end cap on the motherboard connector cable. I'm just gonna flip this power switch and that fan should turn right on. There we go. I mean, the power supply is working. Now we're gonna use this to power out a water pump to circulate the water through your system without actually having electrical power to the components. That's important, very important step. I'm gonna use this little tube here uh, to sort of breach the, the air gap between the outside of this environment and the inside of the environment so that the water goes in smoothly without any issues. There you can see it coming through. There we go. Now, yeah, I had to pinch that straw down in there the way this pump cap work, reservoir cap works. I don't know if you can see the tube coming through. You know, that way, you know, water comes, uh, air comes through there. You know. I just want to comment real quick on like how nicely, beautifully, this is filling right here because the little straw. Now I'm just gonna turn it on, and hopefully my two year old doesn't scream or do anything because he's in another room doing goodness what with a bill. There he is. Should be sucking water. Suck that water down. And I don't see any leaks, so we're gonna start Go ahead and refill on this system. That's completely full. Turn it off. Starting to look good. I when I saw it drain off a little bit into the block that radiator should be empty too so I feel like it's got to suck down a lot more I guess it's down oh man it's gurgling though is it even is it do it okay we're getting there it's starting to collect some of the blue from the still left in the radiator from the previous um, reservoir pumps like making less noise. I think it had running a lot of air running through there and it sounded like really bad. And then like I turned it off and on and it like sucked it all the way down there. I gotta add more water to the system. Hey! 